Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Eloy Casagrande, the drummer for Sepultura. Eloy's been on my reaction recommendation list for a long time now, so I was way overdue to go ahead and get him on the channel. I am familiar with Eloy, I'm familiar with Sepultura, although I will admit I'm not super familiar with all of Sepultura's songs in their catalog. So we're going to be checking out Eloy as he does a drum playthrough for the song Isolation. It's a Sepultura song that I will admit I have not actually heard this song before. So I'll be able to actually see Eloy in action and take in this Sepultura song at the same time. I still see everybody's uh, drummer recommendations and things that they want me to check out. Um, like I've said in my previous videos, I'm just kind of working the list as I go. Because there's some people that have given me recommendations a long time ago, and I still haven't even gotten to theirs yet. So uh, please be patient. Uh, a drummer or video that you've recommended will probably pop up on the channel at some point. Just bear with me, okay? So in any case, we're going to go ahead and check out this video and see what Eloy's got to offer. I know one thing, he is a power hitter, so I'm expecting to see some symbols really crying out for mercy in this playthrough. Coming out swinging. Boom, perfect timing. As expected. Triplets go really well at that part, too. Uh, so a few things to note. And yes, I will be pausing the video to talk. And yes, the original video will be in the description box if you don't want to hear me talk. So his hi-hat, uh, it's not really placed in the orthodox position that you would expect here on the left. It's really almost right in the middle, you know, positioned just to the right of his uh, rack tom. There's another very, very popular drummer that we know that does that same thing. Also, uh, he is definitely doing, as I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of power hitting. Uh, every stroke that he's playing on the kit is a conscious effort for volume and velocity. It doesn't matter if it's the eighth notes that he's doing on the hi-hat for the, uh, the skank beat. He's still, I mean, full wrist motion for the whole thing. Also, Eloy is a physical specimen because the guy... I mean, he's clearly very strong, so this whole power playing thing really suits him. It almost didn't even feel like that that feel was going to land right back on the one for the next uh, the next phrase, but it still landed exactly where it needed to be. That was actually really cool musicianship on on Eloy's part to be able to pull that off. <laughs>
Okay. Um, first of all, wow. I love what I'm saying here. Like, there's a lot of power and intensity in everything that Eloy is doing. His kick drum technique, from what I can tell, it looks kind of similar to uh, Mario Duplantier's of Gojira, which I reacted to his playing style a few videos ago. Um, if you haven't seen that, please check that out as well. He's sitting almost um, 90 degree from his hip to his ankles. So a lot of his playing is um, very hip flexor oriented and he's consciously like lifting his legs up to do each of the strokes for at least for the 16th note parts. He looks like he's also using some of his ankle just to kind of control the strokes a little bit at a little bit faster tempo, but I believe that a lot of that is also powered by his calf. So much of his playing here is very full leg oriented. Uh, he did have a little bit of a swivel going on for some of the um, the rough patterns on the t on the uh, the bass drum, and I believe that that swivel was more so a byproduct of him trying to keep his ankle muscles relaxed for the faster strokes. And so sometimes when that happens, your feet will go side to side like that instead of like that. And it's not necessarily that he was consciously trying to do a swivel. It's just, you know, keeping that shin muscle relaxed. Sometimes your body's trying to figure out how to get the stroke going. So, so it happens in my playing as well. Actually using the hi-hat pedal to count the eighth notes. That was a really cool sounding part. I love how Eloy can just kind of effortlessly blend like different styles and different cultural elements in his playing. Uh, he's got uh, some progressive elements in there and you could tell that there's a lot of like South American kind of groove elements in some of what he's doing, but then he brings it right back home with uh, thrash and, and, and death metal elements as well. And he, he blends it all together quite nicely. I feel like when it comes down to his, uh, to his kick drum, that his beaters are probably sitting back relatively far. Like if this is the batter head to the bass drum, I feel like his beaters aren't sitting like here. They're more like that, which would allow him to be able to kind of rest his leg on the pedal. And then when it's time for him to actually play the stroke, he's getting maximum beater swing like that, which takes effort to control that. But there's no doubt that there's a lot of power if you can pull that off. Eloy has a ton of technical aspects to his playing that, honestly, if you put him behind the majority of bands within this genre, or even outside of this genre, he would do just fine. It's clear that he's got a ton of versatility. I remember watching um, some of a drum solo that he did for Pacey, because I believe he's probably a sponsor artist by Pacey, and his musicality and solo chops are top level. Um, it's not just him just beating his drums like they stole money from him. He knows exactly what it takes to groove and to get you as a listener to really kind of feel what he's playing. You know, if you're a drummer and if you're playing a groove or doing a solo and the audience, you know, if they're not able to you know, do something like that, then you, you're not as successful in doing your job as a drummer as you could be. Now, granted, of course, the audience just could be stiff and unappreciative of what they're hearing, but for the most part, the audience should 
be able to really get into it, you know. And Eloy is great at doing stuff like that. With, whether he's playing with a band or if he's doing a solo act, he gets the job done, bar none. So again, everybody, I'm sorry it took so long to get a reaction to Eloy on the channel. Uh, I will be bringing him back because he's got a lot more to offer. Um, I'm going to be bringing uh, Achilles Priester. I might have said his name incorrectly, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to be bringing him onto the channel. Uh, Matt Garska, he's coming real soon. So yeah, and, and a bunch of other you guys' recommendations I got coming, I promise you. I promise. In addition to music, I've got some time off coming up in the next few weeks, so I'll be able to work on some more drumming stuff. The Pantera thing, uh, that is coming. That's something that I've tried to have in the works for a long time, so that's why I'm just not getting around to it. And the Sleep Token thing, I'm going to be working on drum cover for that too, which is going to take a while because there's a lot going on with their songs drumming-wise that I'm going to have to work out the bugs too. So yeah, so those are my immediate plans for the channel, and I'll keep you guys posted for anything else. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will catch you on the next video later on.